What's up guys, this is Liam Shai here with Peermind, and today I want to show you a Serato library organization hack. And in my opinion, this is the best and the only way to organize your library if you're using Serato DJ, Serato Scratch Live, or Serato Itch. And the reason that I call it a hack is because it is an uh, unconventional way to go about it. So we're going to use a third-party script in order to do this. Um, it does take a very small amount of uh, programming. I mean, really small, super, super small, and I'll talk you through it. Um, but this is going to save you so much time, headache, hassle. You're never going to have lost tracks again. You're never going to have missing files again. You're always going to be able to back up, transfer your library with ease. So, uh, yeah, so in my opinion, there's really no other way to do this. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because nobody I know is doing this uh, except for me at this point, at least personally. Like, none of my friends who use Serato, uh, folks that I talk to, none of them are doing this. So hopefully we can spread some awareness and uh, more folks will, will, will start utilizing this technique because uh, it's, it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. All right. So first and foremost, uh, actually, I've got a little document right here. So let's just take a look at this. Serato itch sync. This is going to be the really super uh, broken down process. Step one, we're going to download the script. Step two, we got to make sure that our music files and our Serato library are in the correct locations. Step three, we're going to code the config files. Step four, we're going to launch Java. Uh, by the way, uh, if you don't have Java installed, you're going to need Java. Uh, step five, we're going to relocate the library if this is your first time uh, using this library. So for instance, if you're porting over from an old computer to a new computer. This is a great way to do that process. Uh, you will need to relocate the library. Very simple process, um, but yeah, it's just gotta be done. Step six, um, anytime you add new music, you just update, you just relaunch this Java script and everything will update and sync and all of your f uh, crates and subcrates will automatically be created for you. You never have to create another crate or subcrate again. How's that? Boom. Okay, so let's jump right in. So uh, here's the thing. This is this is an old JavaScript file. So uh, the Google uh, search that you got to plug in, and we'll we'll give you the link. But it's Serato itch sync. Okay, that's what you plug into Google, and then that's what's going to load up this uh, Google Code thing. And the the reason that it is uh, Serato itch sync is because the guy who actually wrote this script, um, bless his heart and soul did it you with uh, Serato itch. Um, this is also a five-year-old script. It still works. I've had no problem. I just tested it on Serato, 1 point, Serato DJ 1.0.8 or 1.8. It totally works fine. So hopefully that will continue to work into the long future because uh, as far as I can tell, the script is no longer being updated. Well, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been updated in five years, so... There's that. But, all right, let's use it while we can. So you're going to come here, and then what you're going to do is just go to the Downloads f uh, tab here and download the latest version, itchsync 014 jar. Click that. Boom. It says this type of file can harm your computer. Thank you, Steve Jobs, but we're going to keep it anyway. We're going to take our risk. All right, so... Once you get this, you can show it in the Finder, and you're going to want to put this somewhere where you will remember it. So uh, I've found that I just like to keep it under the you know user uh, folder and then music, and then I just keep it here. Uh, I have hsync.jar, that's the Java file, and then we've got hsync, which we're going to create. This is a text file. This is the config file that's going to go with it. So... Uh, these want to live in the same folder, and I'm just putting them here because this is the default file path for the Serato folder. And uh, it's really important for Serato that your Serato folder is under your uh, your home user folder, music, and then there it is. That's where Serato will automatically create it. Um, I've tried using alias Serato folders in this location because I wanted to keep my Serato folder on an external and it's it crashes serato just really doesn't seem to like it if you move that folder around so keep that folder there but 
Your music library, however, can live wherever you want. So my music library is actually going to be under my, my RAID drive, under music, and then I have uh, under here music organized. So I keep my music under one folder. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys do this. Now I do a lot of, I DJ a lot of different genres and styles. So uh, they're basically broken out by genre. And then from the genre, I have them broken out into subgenres. So bass music, you know, cycles down into acid dub, dubstep, future bass, hippie hop, juke, moon batone, side trap, side dub, trap twerk, whatever, so on and so forth. So um, the point is, what I like to do is organize these very kind of detailed uh, finder folder hierarchies, and then I want to port that over into Serato, but I don't want to do the work twice. With our script, we can then have the Java script read all of these finder folder hierarchies and create crates and subcrates replicating our exact folder structure. Okay, all right, so there it is, that's the pitch. So I've got my music organized and I've got my Serato folder organized so we can properly mark off step two, place music files in Serato library in correct locations. Great, so those are all done. Okay, cool. Step three, we need to properly code our config file. And so the config file uh, is really just a text edit file that you can create. So you can go and you can actually open up text edit if you're on a Mac or something like Notepad++ if you're on PC. And you would want to go and you would want to say format, make plain text, whenever you're doing any kind of coding, um, this needs to be done as a plain text type of document. And here, now I'm going to open up uh, edge code and show you guys what this looks like. And this information is actually available here on, on the website, so you can you can get this and uh, copy it from the website, but I'm just gonna show you here the, the things that are the most important. Anywhere where you see a uh, hashtag, right, this pound sign, this is just a comment. These are just comments. So this is basically telling you what is this particular line of code doing. So here, path to your personal music collection. So here's where you need to copy your path uh, so that Serato, this Java uh, application knows where to point Serato to your actual files. So here I've got volumes, my RAID system, music, music organized. So everything lives within that folder. Then we need the path to our Serato library. So music.library.itch equals, boom. So here we are, users, Liam Shy, that's me, music folder Serato, boom. So that's where our Serato library is stored. And then this last line of code here, this is optional. I, I like it. You can get rid of it if you don't want it. But basically, it'll delete all of your existing crates from the Serato library prior to sync, uh, as well as tracks from the all view. So what's cool about this is that if you decide to delete folders, it'll it'll clear out those it'll clear out everything and then only recreate based on what currently exists. Uh, you save the config file here along with the uh, Java file. All right, and then let's test it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'll make it all caps to match, Serato sync test folder crate, we'll call it crate. And then let's go ahead and I'll just grab uh, a quick track. So we'll grab this track and just make a copy, throw it in there. Okay, now, to test it out, I'm going to launch the Java uh, script. And now you can see here, sync process is complete. How awesome is this? Found 9,695 tracks, wrote 32 crates and 627 subcrates. Boom. Enjoy. That's so, it's beautiful. That is just beautiful. So now we say, OK, let's go ahead and relaunch Serato DJ. And let's go ahead and look at that right at the top, Serato Sync Test Crate. Boom. The only f uh, sort of counter argument to the whole uh, delete all your all your crates and then rebuild is that each time you do that, it's going to have to reread all the tags. So it will take a little bit for this to load. So that's why we don't see that track immediately. Um, so that's kind of up to you. If you don't want that and you're cool with just remembering that if you delete something, if you delete a 
uh, folder from your music library, then to also make sure to uh, delete the uh, crate within Serato manually, uh, then you can avoid that. And again, if I wanna adjust that in my code, I can just go ahead and open up the code and I just delete this line of code here. Boom, Command S, hit save, and then now uh, that won't happen in the future. Okay, so we launch it, so here it is. So this is very important if you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna need to relocate your library. Uh, and if you've never done that before, it's pretty easy, it's just time consuming. So what you would have to do in that particular instance is you'd have to go Files, navigate to the library, so Apollo uh, da, 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 music, music, music Organized, and you would just take this folder and drop it right here on the Relocate Lost Files. And now, anytime you download new music, all you have to do is simply go back to your music folder, which is uh, here, and just simply uh, you know, take your tracks from your downloads folder or from your desktop, wherever they downloaded to, uh, put them in the appropriate genre or subgenre folder, and then you just update the Java by, uh, by relaunching and you're good to go. That's really it, that's all there is to it. Uh, just double click that Java file. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're using Serato, I think this is really the only way to organize your library. Um, it completely circumvents having to manually create crates and subcrates, something that I think is really important. And you'll never lose your files again. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed this tip. I'll see you guys next time. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool. And until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me, and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. We, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more. And that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music. Um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really helped me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.